with an estimated range of 400 to 500 kilometers and a 200 kilograms square head. The YJ-12B is considered one of the most capable anti-ship cruise missiles in the world, enough to pose a major threat to enemy surface warships. Built as a coastal defense missile system, the YJ-12B is actually a ground-launched version of the naval YJ-12 anti-ship missile. China's missile system was officially publicized in 2019 and is currently in service with the Chinese military. The YJ-12 first picture emerged in 2012, which appears somewhat similar in design to the Russian KH-31 air-to-surface missile. YJ-12A is the surface-launched variant, and the YJ-12B is the land-based variant. Its reported speed is around Mark 4. The YJ-12 can also do evasive maneuvers to avoid anti-missile threats. The YJ-12B outwardly resembles a scaled-up version of the CJ-10. It also carries three containers with missile, but uses a larger 10x8 chassis rather than 8x8. The vehicle has good cross-country mobility and can travel over a difficult terrain. The YJ-12 is a ramjet power supersonic missile with radar guidance. Most likely that this missile has a conventional high-explosive fragmentation warhead. The transporter reactor launcher vehicle has a maximum road speed of 70 km per hour and a range of 650 km. The YJ-12B was reported to the Spratly Islands around April 2018. They may cover the southern half of the South China Sea when based on three largest Chinese-controlled islands. The YJ-12 was exported to Pakistan and Iran Syria under the designation CM-302. It is marketed as the world's best anti-ship missile, that it is supersonic throughout its flight, can be launched from air, land, and naval platforms, can disable a 5,000 ton warship, and can be used in a land attack role. Guided by Beidou, which can be updated by daily with an active radar seeker for a terminal homing to achieve a 90% probability of hitting its target, while traveling at a mid-course speed of Mark 1.5 to Mark 2 and accelerating to Mark 3 or higher during the terminal flight phase.